Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're unboxing a first for the channel and I'm really excited about this. This is the OnePlus 6T. So this is the first ever OnePlus device that I've ever unboxed or used on a channel. We're starting off with their latest model. On the front here, very clean, clear packaging. You've got the OnePlus symbol, you've got six here. And then if we come around to the side, you've actually got the OnePlus 6T, a tiny T there. Turning to the other side here, it says unlock the speed. So it's all about power and performance. So on the back, here we have a couple of things just to highlight to you. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor inside. It is a dual SIM model, comes in mirror black. This one is 128 gigabytes storage option and six gigabytes of RAM, but no micro SD card. So please bear that in mind when you're choosing your size of phone. So turning around to the front, let's actually unbox our OnePlus 6T here. So just lifting the lid up, get a nice smooth sort of feel, lift. And then here is our phone, it's sat on top. So removing our phone first of all, so inside here is an invitation letter. So you open this up and there is a letter to read inside here. So please pause the video so you can have a read of this. Sadly, I cannot read it to you as it is very, very small print. So underneath here, you have the bright red cable that we know is OnePlus and this offers fast charging. So this is USB-C to USB. So we're gonna stick that to the side as well. Underneath there is a dongle as well. We're used to dongles now for headphones, but we do have a dongle and you have a UK three pin plug. And this phone offers a 3,700 milliamp hour battery and can be charged up very quickly. It is stating that you have enough juice in just 20 minutes to last you the day. And I want to test that out, but an hour and a half will fully charge this device. And that is awesome. So taking our phone out, there is also some paperwork you're going to get inside here. So make sure you check that out. Let's have a look, see what we get. You're going to get a SIM extraction tool and your paperwork. And also you get a case as well, which is really nice. So this adds protection to your device straight away. And I do recommend that you always get a case. This phone is made up of Gorilla Glass on the front and the back and it's Corning Gorilla Glass 6, and it will actually add protection to your device using a case. So I always recommend getting a case when you can. So let's power our device on. The power is on the right-hand side here. On the left-hand side, you've got your volume controls, and then also you've got your slider here that will change into vibrate or silence mode, which is great to see. It's a very nice, a polished design here. This mirror black is absolutely gorgeous. So a couple of highlighting features you may notice on the back here is a dual camera setup, and we're going to have a look at that as well. It offers great night shooting modes. You've got OnePlus symbol. Sadly, there's no wireless charging with this device, which is a shame. Boot up nice and fast. We've got teardrop notch design here that we're used to now on some devices. So the device itself is really thin and it's really nicely designed. Very impressed with the overall aspect of this phone and it's too beautiful to put in a case, but I do recommend you do put it in a case. So one great feature about this phone is the actual fingerprint sensor is built into the display. It's not one on the back or one like down here at the bottom, you'll see no buttons. It's actually built into the display. So now we're into the setup process. So this is running Android 9 and also it has Oxygen OS 9.0.5. So that's like an overlay that we see with other manufacturers, but this is OnePlus's version. So before we begin, we do have vision settings and that is awesome to see. I really do like that. So font settings, I'm going to go into here, make it nice and big and so easy for me to read. So we've got hello, then you have one plus terms and conditions. We've got agree to these. User experience program, again, just get inside these and then you'll enjoy every possible feature of the phone. So system stability program, again, yes. You've got push notifications, yes, agree. So connect to a Wi-Fi or you could use your mobile phone signal here. So I'm just going to connect to my Wi-Fi and it will save data. It says here, copy apps and data. I actually don't want to do this, we're just going to set up as normal. So you can sign in with your Google account to use every single possible app that is linked to Google then, and you're going to get the best experience with Android on the OnePlus 6T. So Google services, the only one I turn off here is the backup. So use your face and fingerprint to unlock your device, we're going to say yes. It says here to use fingerprint you must set a pin. So you fill in your face here. So how to use fingerprint, it's just showing you here that it's built into the display. So fingerprint setup prompt, so you fingerprint is here and all we're going to do is you're going to feel vibration and you can see it light up. You will get a warning message if it's not correctly done and it will ask you to re-register that section of the thumb or finger. So now it's telling you to change your grip 
So you just do it slightly one-handed. So fingerprint added, and you can also add another one there. So access your assistant with your voice match. So unlock your phone with voice match. This is okay again as well. And it has anything else. So this is where you can add another email. You can change your fingerprint. You can change the font size, which is great to see. Accessibility always for the win there. And then also you can change your wallpaper. I'm actually gonna say no thank you. So screen on gestures, you can draw a V for the flashlight lights you can double tap to wake i like that one so i'm going to turn that one on you can draw a o for the camera and then you've got music controls as well then you have screen calibration here this is where you can change and adjust the screen so we're going to hit allow and now we're on our home screen here and we're ready to go so first of all i want to check out the face unlock that worked very very quickly and also you have the fingerprint unlock again worked awesome that's underneath the display this is what you're saying about unlock the speed of this device it's just beautiful to see so now our device is all set up let's actually talk a bit more about it so first of all the display is a 6.41 optic amoled display that's always corner to corner it has a resolution of 1080 by 2340 this gives us a pixel density of 402 it has a qualcomm snapdragon processor inside which i said was 845 and that's a 10 nanometer chip it offers optical processing processor speed and that's running four cores at 2.8 gigahertz and four cores running at 1.7 gigahertz. Its GPU is from Adranu and that's a 630. As I said this device is beautiful looking it's really nice it does have a shimmer and shine to it especially with that mirror black. It weighs 185 grams and is only 8.2 millimeters thick here and it is a real beautiful phone from every single angle. If we look down here at the bottom this is where you're going to see your fast charging and I can't wait to test that that fast charging to see how well it does with this device and the power and performance that it says that it can offer to you during your day they're saying that the phone should work to you not you work into your device and that's very true we want our devices quick fast and on the go straight away we don't want to be waiting around hours for charging so taking a look at the back as you can see we've got a dual camera setup so one is a 16 megapixel f 1.7 25 millimeters wide lens and that is optical image stabilization and phase detection autofocus the other is a 20 megapixel f 1.7 same 25 millimeter wide lens and that also has phase detection autofocus you also have a dual led flash underneath the lenses there video quality this offers the ability to record it in 4k at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second at 1080p you can record at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 240 frames per second. And at 720p, you can actually record at 480 frames per second as auto HDR and gyro electric image stabilization. Coming around to the front where the teardrop is there, if we unlock our device again, speed is awesome. Inside that teardrop notch there, we've got a 16 megapixel lens and that offers an f2.0, 25 millimeter wide, has auto HDR, gyro, EIS again. Video quality is at 1080p and 30 frames per second. So there is no headphone jack, but in the packaging, like I said, there is the connection there, a dongle, so you can connect your headphones as well. So that is the OnePlus 6T actually unboxed and set up. I'm looking forward to really testing this out. Coming across here, we've got a sort of their own design. Never settle, I like that. Never settle for what you want. Always grow and go forward, I like that. Never settle, always achieve better. I think that's the key thing of today. Looking forward to using the OnePlus 6T here. Thanks to Vodafone who did supply it. It is available on their contract. All is available SIM free starting at £499. The link in description as always is saying that we need to pull across here and then you can get hidden applications. Coming down you've got your notification area, you've got your widgets area. Very clean, very simple looking, very bold and very nice for me especially with me being registered blind. I can actually see these and these bring it a lot closer to actually know what they are. Are, but that's nice to see we're going to be going through the accessibility of the device as it is the first for the channel and please give a like and also let me know what you think down below do you like the oneplus devices are you a oneplus fan and would you buy the oneplus 6t thanks always for watching please give it a thumbs up as it does help and if you're new to tech talk make sure you hit that subscribe and ring the notification bell as 2019 is going to be awesome loads of new videos to come and from me ricky i'll see you very soon bye for now